Remember this room? This is the room with the floor with the holes in, isn't it? And I was supposed to be coming through here um, to get back to the top. And hopefully there's something new waiting for me on the other side. Uh, yeah, this is for Game Boy Color. And uh, Skittles, Skittles and Fiddles, who's in the chat, actually made this game. So if you want to know anything about it, then feel free to leave a comment in the chat and hopefully he'll be able to answer you. Right, we have the power up to go across here now. Whee! Let's see, he is giving me advice already. The darker tiles are the ones that aren't solid. You can jump through them at the bottom too. Cool. Well, I'm through now. It wasn't that much trouble. Very cool animation. Yeah, the animation's great. Oh, what did that... Ah, I missed what that said. Okay. I think I just... Skittles, what did it say? I missed it. I was looking at... I was looking at the chat. The sound's changed anyway. Ah! Okay, I remember. Let's get the gun out. I remember now, I got here and died last time. Can I sneak in there? Awesome music, I have to say, again. Oh my god! That's too hard! Right, which way am I going? Left or right? It was one of the uh, secret, secret bits in the ceiling, wasn't it, that I needed to go through? Or was it through here? I don't remember where I am! It's not this way, that's... That's where the lady's friend was, who died. Oh no, I've lost connection. I haven't got a dummy battery for this new camera yet. And I don't think the USB port that I've got is powerful enough to keep it running. Yeah, it's just saying battery exhausted. Right. I was hoping I didn't need to get one, but I do. Okay. Let's keep playing anyway. You just won't see me for a minute, or maybe I can swap around to my old camera. Uh, it's probably more trouble than it's worth. I'll just keep playing, and in a bit we can turn the camera back on. So... Yeah, I need, I need to get a dummy battery for the camera because the USB power still drains the battery inside the camera for some reason. Which isn't a great idea. Was it up here? So, you were saying I can, I can ignore that boss and then come back later and then fight him again, right? But I might not remember to come back, that's the, the downside to doing that. There we go, using your technique to get on top of that. Damn, I'm really annoyed the USB power um, wasn't strong enough. So I, I tried um, I tried the plugs, I tried the USB ports on the desk, tried USB ports on the computer. Oh my god, I thought I would try one more time. Okay, I'm glad I know that. Right, any other shortcuts? No. Uh, 
Let's go again. Through the long empty corridor. Let's see if we can get across in one go this time. Yay! I think the slowdown might have helped. Uh, I'll see if I can plug my old camera back in. It's no fun just not having a not having any webcam, is it? Let's see how much power this one's got. 11%, that's not going to do much. Let's try this battery. Okay, that one's on 100. Right, bear with me one second and I'll be back on screen. Right, so I should be back on the old camera, but I'm back. There's my new one. Pop it on full screen. That's what I was hoping to stream with, but as you can see, I was trying to use... I was trying to use this to actually power it, but it didn't work, so bear with me a second. Gotta undo that. Let's put that down there. And then we can put this one on here somehow. Not a great start to having my new camera, is it? I needed to screw this on the bottom first. Okay, we're in. We're in. Let's try again. Oh, I need to move it that way, but... There we go. Yeah, the new one will be better. I just need to get the right cable for it. Oh, I do really love it though. Look at it. It's, I was so excited to get it, I've been saving up for years for it. A7S3. Anyway, the battery's charging. Maybe we can swap it back around in a bit. You're still entertained with me fumbling with cameras and wires. I don't think that's very entertaining. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Well, I'm glad I didn't bore you completely and you're still here. Okay, do I try and fight him again? I'm gonna try and chase it. Come on! Oh, it worked! Yes, it worked! I didn't think that would work. Oh my god. Yes! Did I did I find an exploit there? There we go. Now I'm in focus. I've got some funky music going on. Whoa! What the hell is that? I'm gonna go and have a look. What is that? Let's get my gun back out. Oh my god! 
die! Oh yeah, it's insane this is done in Jibby Studio. Oh, I also realised earlier that I've been pronouncing this game wrong the whole time. It's Repugnant Bounty, not Repugnant Bounty. Ah, go away! Oh my god, he's angry. He's very angry! What the hell? Bye! Am I actually hurting him? Do I need to... I can't tell if he's taking any damage. I think I am. Oh dear. Oh, I can't kill him until later. Damn! I need to go and kill that one again, though. At least I know that one's easy, if I can stand in place and cheese him. Hide behind the pillars to avoid him. Oh, you mean, you mean like this? And then what? He'll just disappear on his own. Very cool. Right, let's try again. Yeah, honestly, playing this game has kind of restored my faith in Game Boy Homebrew games. Because I was getting a bit burnt out for a while. Yeah, and then this comes along, and it's just, yeah, it's a breath of fresh air, you know why. You will stop being interested for a short-term memory loss. Fantastic. Okay, let's go. Let's go and make him forget all his troubles. Ignore that spider. I don't think I need to kill that spider, do I? He's not a proper boss. Right, come on then. What happens if I just try and leave? Am I trapped? Oh, is it just never ending? Oh. Uh, I can just leave. Is there any is there any point in staying here? Where is he? He's still there. This way. Huh? Where do I go? Oh, I can't attack him from behind there. It's still a bit loud for me, but it's still a bit Need a level 2 shot. Okay. How long is his memory loss? Cool music though. I don't mind waiting. I don't think he's forgetting me. Okay, see ya. I thought that might be an easter egg, like some of the other things. Okay, let's uh, go and save. Where? I remember there's a save point over here somewhere. Boom, boom. There we go, game saved. We're making progress. Ah. He caught me out twice there. Right. Now, can we go anywhere new?
Or maybe I was supposed to take that other electric bit there. If I remember right, there was some more electric bits that I can go to now that I couldn't access before. There's not going to be another one of those angry, forgetful monsters here, is there? Ah! You're not the same one, are you? Ah, go away! Hmm. Okay, is there going to be one in all of these style screens? Oh, here's one. Have we been here before? This is somewhere new. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, is that just taking me back to where I just was? Yeah, I've just gone around in a circle. That was just a shortcut back there again. I have to say though, look how good the jump is. Just to be able to easily go up them little bubbles there. That is really cool. For a GB Studio game. I don't know if it's the animation, or whether it's because it's the double-sized sprites or something, but it just feels really nice to control. Alright, let's try going left. Oh, I still can't go high enough to get up there. Okay. Side. Nothing hidden up there. Nope. Physics was a big focus. Yeah, it's always good to start with the game feel. Oh, excuse me. I'm allergic to bad physics. Oh, we got a new cold door. Sonus Leo. It looks as it's nice to control. Yeah, it's really nice to control. I say as I bang my head on the ceiling four times. Hey, we found some more life! Woohoo! There's another angry spider up there. Hey, I remember this place. I walked past it before. But he wasn't there. So, that's it for now until we can get maybe the ability to swim, maybe? So, let's try going the other way. I bet this is painful for you to watch, Skittles, because you know exactly where you need to go. I feel... I feel blind. Whoa! Dancing Cactus! Okay. Alright, let's try this way. I'm gonna methodically go back through everywhere. That's how you play Metroid, right? Without a map? I am surprised you man you decided to keep the map till the end of the game. Can I get up there? Yes. More life. Does it have a publisher yet? I hope so. I'm not saying anything. I don't want to get him into trouble. I'm looking for hidden secrets in the ceiling. Anything here? You tricked me with your little secret caverns that go nowhere. Oh, is this one of those boss fight areas? Here he is! Come here, let me cheese you! I don't really mind if I die, because I know where to come back to. Yay! Did it. 20 left. That was easy. Is there nothing else in here? 
There's not even a health regenerator. I need health. Something's gonna change, right? He's come back. Yes, it has a publisher. It's official. You heard it here first, folks. It has a publisher. Oh, no! Ah. Okay, at least I know where to go. Wonder how many I can get through tonight. Whoa. What's for that crazy sound effect? Yes. Can't wait to see the physical release. I'll ignore them little glitches when you go up the lift. We saw nothing. The bubble noises glitch when other stuff appears. I think it's cool though. I mean, it might be a glitch, but it sounds cool. Ah! Oh, oh, I just jumped over him. Sometime this year, that's good news. Right, there was some health pickups this way, wasn't there? Let's go back and get them. Uh, where was it? This way. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, there it is. You don't have a you don't have a Game Boy Color. Oh my God! You need to fix that. Hey, editors here. Come and join us as we play through Skittles' fancy pixel game, TM. I think you should rename it. And actually, no, I don't know the date. So, I know as much as you guys know. Okay, that was it for this room, I think. I think that was everything in here. Let's... Oh no, there was the room at the end, wasn't there? This way. Okay. Ready for the fight? Let's see whether I can do it again in one. Ah, just mash me! Die! Uh, if you didn't save but died while in the water, your physics carry over to the load point. Huh, that's weird. Does that... Oh, it only works for one screen. I thought maybe you could use that to... Um, get into some of the high jump places. You have three originals with an IPS screen and an advance. Well, you can play it on the advance. Oh, I have a sad story about my Game Boy Color. Here it is. I think some of you might have seen this before. So I got this for my birthday, but I tried um, I tried to mod it to put in an IPS screen, and I don't know if you can see on this camera. I slipped with a knife and cut right across the middle there. Ruined it. I was so upset. So I'm going to try and get um, another one. batteries. I think it still works. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't seem to be able to get to the uh, power switch. 
No, it's dead. Another another Game Boy for the graveyard is gone. Look how much I messed up as well because the screen wouldn't fit inside. I you probably can't see it very well, but yeah. Another failed experiment, unfortunately. Yeah, hopefully I can order another one of those shells with the uh, with the specific print on the front because it looks really cool. So I would love to get it working. Oh my god, I've got so many, so many broken game boards. I've got this one, which I painted on ages ago, but the D-pad doesn't work. Uh, yeah, it was through Retro 6. And I know they're a bit of a controversial company. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think they're cool. If there's no, if there's no one else that can, ah, oh, damn it, I wasn't paying any attention then. Yeah, if there's no one else who can do it, then I don't really think it matters to go with them. I mean, and it was an original design, so it should be fine, right? All right, let's go fight the boss again. I'm gonna go and fight the boss, and then come back here and save, so I don't need to do that again. I think I went the long way around too. Yeah, something about stealing some artwork that someone else made or something. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, Bluish Squirrel used to do the um, the laser printing, but I don't know what happened to them. And there was another company before that called Jelly Belly Customs, I think. And they also kind of disappeared. They modded my SNES years and years ago. Run! I'm going to go back and save after this. The retro future needs to come to me and fix them in person. Hopefully I can meet him at some point this year. Alright, let's do this again! Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'll go that way. Hey, there's another life under there. You live in Shrewsbury, so happy to help me mod a Game Boy. Maybe I'll take you up on that offer next time I... Uh, next time I order myself an IPS screen so I don't mess up. Right, I'm going to go and save. Oh, I have a good opportunity to meet some YouTubers. Um, I think I've gone the wrong way. Skittles, how do I get to the save point? I think I'm going the right way, actually. I just took the long way around. Yeah, there's an event I'm going to in April, which sounds like it's got a lot of cool um, guests there. I'll get to meet John Riggs, one of my favourite American YouTubers, so that'll be cool. And Cadicarus as well. I know some people in my Discord were talking about his videos recently. So that, that'll be really fun. I think some other people are there as well. Ashens is going to be there. It's a show that's on in April in Norwich, I think. So it's quite far away. But I'm sure it'll be fun. I got some press passes to go and film it, so it should be a good event. And I can take my fancy new camera. That'll be exciting. You think I'm a successful YouTuber? Maybe. I don't know why, but I always thought that when I hit 20,000 subscribers, I'm going to be big, but it doesn't really feel any different. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that.
yeah, Ashens is fun. It's crazy that he's barely changed his style in like... Am I supposed to be going that way? It's crazy that he's barely changed his style in like 15 years. I used to watch him in college back in the day. Oh my god. I need health. Anyway, I think I think a YouTuber's made it once they hit a hundred thousand and get the um, get the silver play button. Whoa, we're back outside. Yeah. Ah. Is the um, is the planet like regrowing life as it as you're going through the through the game? That's pretty cool. I feel like there's more to explore on this side. And I'm pretty sure I missed that boss. Wait, have I turned that off? You need to fix that. I can never tell whether I've got it turned on or not. Go away, weird cactus plants. Oh, hopefully it was your internet and not my stream. Anyway, I was saying I think I missed some things back here, so I'm going back to explore a bit. Okay, that's good. Oh, by the way, editor, I turned on Ableton yesterday for the first time in like two months, and I'd completely forgot how to do anything. And I just sat there staring at it and just felt completely clueless. And I've formatted my PC since then as well, so I lost all of the files that I've made before. Bye! No! Oh my god, I'm not going to get anywhere this stream. Well, I've made slight progress. Let's see if this way is actually faster. I'm surprised I didn't blow up my computer. I know I have a curse, but I don't think it quite extends to actually blowing things up. This area is easier once I've powered up more. Yeah, I feel like I'm pushing my luck trying to cheese the bosses like that. I probably deserve to die. So... Okay, take me to where some power-ups are then. Oh, I haven't got the high jump thing turned on. Wait, does that mean I could get through here? I don't know, it didn't make any difference. Did I already get that? Yeah, I was just checking. Right, Skittles, take me to some power-ups so that I don't feel so terrified every time I see a boss. Do I need to go back to the spaceship? Turn and go right. Okay. Ah. I'm going to try not to lose any health before I get there as well. Playing this has made me want to start making my own game again, but I just haven't got the time. Especially with work being so crazy at the minute as well. I have like seven new projects in the pipeline. It's going to get really busy soon.
And I just had a call earlier from a recruiter, actually, asking whether I was interested in the job, and I had to turn them down. Well, that was pretty cool. But... But, you know, maybe if I keep working on my YouTube videos, I can, I can make enough money from them. And then I will have time to make a game. Okay. Right, Skittles, direct me! Yeah, it's nice when I have to turn down people. Left and down. Okay. Left, down. Keep going down. Go right to the upper ledge. Okay. Hey, I found a save point. Go right to the upper ledge. Okay. <laughs> I was running around constantly shooting. Ah, I couldn't get up here last time. Oh, what we got here? Life jar. Ah, every time when I go back on that screen, I accidentally press A and that's turning off my high jump. I love the music. Did you make the music yourself or is it someone that you hired? Once you get the first shot upgrade in the core, head back here. And get the second. Oh my god, where am I going? Do I need to stop it? Oh my god. I think I've gone into hell. Yeah, Brinstar vibes. God, I thought that was going to hurt me then, stepping in that. I thought it was lava or something. Can I breathe underwater? Ah! Where's the ice beam? Where's the screw attack? I feel kind of scared exploring without a map. Gotta be something here. Whoa. How the hell has this been done in GB Studio? This is insane. Oh my god, come on. Do I try do I try attacking him with that instead? Oh, that's easier. Well, there we go. Yeah, it's, it's you are genius. There's no there's no other way to say that. They used to shoot at you, but now it just circles around. Oh well. Still looks really cool. Right, what have we got here? Polar shot upgrade. Oh, okay, it's faster. Have you been tempted to actually do any programming for the Game Boy in, in GBDK or ZGB? Or are you happy with how easy GB Studio is to use, even with its limitations? 
Because I know you were you were getting a bit frustrated with it. Oh, secret! How's my power up gonna do? What's going on? I'm scared. Is he gonna do anything? Whoa! Oh my god, oh my god! This game's insane. Ah! <laughs> GB Studio is fine for now. Alright, I need to go and get my power up again. But just imagine what you can do with programming if you can do all this without it. What is that? I think I've gone a different way. Hopefully it takes me to the same place. Oh no. I think I just didn't take the lift. Oh, this draining my health. I didn't realise. You need some sort of sound effect to go along with that. Right, let's try taking the same path I did last time. Ah, cool. That's good then. Right, nearly back, I think. Yeah, you need more enemies because I'm constantly firing and there's nothing to attack. Oh, I don't know how how many enemies you can have without the uh, without the engine shouting at you. like I cheated. Okay, we've got the upgrade! Is there any safe stations around here or do I need to go back up to the surface? Three bytes of memory left. Wow. Hey, congratulations for getting to the end of Skyward Sword. Have you been enjoying it? I love the story with Groose and Impa. I think it's one of my favourite Zelda stories. The final dungeon's pretty interesting too. Oh yeah, we need to go this way. Uh, do I risk fighting him now? I guess I'm supposed to use a new gun. Doing anything? Oh, I can just stand there. Is he taking any damage? Do I need to hit him with that? No. Okay, he wasn't doing anything. No, oh, he can still hit me. I thought I was safe. Why is the gun doing nothing? I just got an upgrade for it. Ah, okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. Yeah, there's a lot of backtracking in Skyward Sword, especially like revisiting the same areas and having to do slightly different puzzles. Go back and get another upgrade. Yeah, shall I go back up and save and then come back down again? 
nächsten Fall. We can do this one. Please. Right, I'm going back up now. Yeah, true. I do, I do like doing all the Skylock stuff, though, with all the people that live there to get the crystals to go to that guy under the bridge. I was The only thing I was disappointed about with Skyward Sword was the lack of different islands that you can fly to. I felt like they were very reserved with the whole sky section. It could have been a... I was hoping for something more like Wind Waker. But it was very much narrowed down in, in scope. But yeah, the dungeons, the items, the story, I think they more than made up for it. Oh, I can't go and save because I can't get back up there. Unless there's another... Ooh, there's something here. How do I get to that? Secrets! Keep it in my head. Right, do not go in the shiny floor. There's way less to explore than Wind Waker, which was one of my favourites. Yes! Health! Health! Delicious health. Right, I'm not going down yet. I need to go and get the Varia suit first. Did you know that Varia suit is actually a bad translation and it's supposed to be the barrier suit? Hmm. Yeah, I actually quite like the tier collecting. I felt like it really made good use of the environment. Yeah, I only found out that last year. But I guess V and B in Japanese are the same. Um, oh, again with, with Skyward Sword, another thing I liked was tracking down all of the... Goddess cubes, all the boxes in the overworld. I thought that was a nice way to make you explore a bit more as well. Oh my god, I'm finding loads of secrets here. Are you going to send me straight into a boss fight with no choice? I knew it! Yeah, I like the name Varia Suit. Yay! Well, first normal enemy we've had in a while. One that I wasn't scared of. Oh my god, I wouldn't have find, found him if I didn't fall down there. Oh, it's gone eerily quiet now. Yeah, Silent Realm was cool. What's your favourite dungeon in Skyward Sword? I really liked the, um, the sand one. On the ship, on the pirate ship. I thought that was really cool. The last one's pretty cool as well, I think you'll enjoy that. Okay, game saved. Now let's go and try that boss again. Great start. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, they're, they are all really good actually. Yeah, that was fun as well. And the fight with the whale in the sky. That was really unexpected. I really liked that. I remember when I was first playing, I was like, Whoa, that's so cool! I was hoping for something like that to happen. Oh no! I don't want to be down here.
Which one's the second one? The first one's the normal temple where you get the beetle, isn't it? Oh, the the one where you have to roll around on that boulder in the in the fire. It was okay. Oh, don't need to go that way. Yeah, Beetle's first one. I like the boss at the end of the second one, where you're running running up that hill and you have to throw you have to roll the bombs down after him. Yeah, I love Wind Waker as well. Why is it not on the Switch? What, you like Breath of the Wild second, or that's the second one you finished? I can't find where the boss was that I was trying to kill. I've gone too far down, haven't I? I have to go all the way around to go back up again. Are you looking forward to Tears of the Kingdom then? Hopefully, hopefully this year. Unless it... My memory of Skyward Sword's good. Well, I have played it four, maybe five times through. For a while it was my favourite Zelda game. I just really like the atmosphere of it. Yeah, honestly, Tears of the Kingdom doesn't really seem like it's that interesting yet. Right, where is this boss fight? I've completely forgotten where I am. Down here. That's going to take me back to the fire pit, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, in here. Got it. I hope it's good. I mean, they've definitely spent long enough making it. Yeah, in a way it feels like Breath of the Wild is just like the complete opposite of Skyward Sword. So they took away all the good story and dungeons, but they also in increased a lot of the uh, exploration side of it and made it less structured. So they both have their pros and cons. Yay! Look at that sad cat hanging down from the ceiling. We did it! 18 more to go. You enjoyed... Uh, different sec unlocking different sections of the overworld. Hey, to the gates! Hello! How are you doing this evening? I'm going the wrong way again! That's going to just take me to the lava room. Toad! Oh. Yeah, I've been complaining about work as well. I'm just playing this to de-stress. If you jump into the spiky blade enemies, you can get to the exit faster. Do I trust him or is he trying to kill me? Okay, let's try it. Come on. Where's it gone? Uh, whoa! Okay, cool. It didn't hurt me that much. Oh, okay, that one did. Anyway, the save point's just up here, isn't it? 
There's the save point. Right. Is there anything else to do in this area? Or shall I head off to the next place? Before I get back in the lift, is there any anything else to do here? No, not yet. Not yet, anyway. Not until I get the barrier suit. Right. Can I stop this lift, or does it just keep going all the way to the top? It's teasing me. Look at all these places I can't go. Yeah, I like the shrines. They were a nice, they were a nice alternative to dungeons, but I don't think they should have replaced them. And I don't really count the guardians as dungeons because they're just more like weird, rotating puzzle rooms. Doesn't feel like a proper Zelda game. I'm hoping that Tears of the Kingdom has more structure, but I know people don't really like the structure in Zelda game, so you can't really win. Yeah, I did, I did like all the shrines. And the fact that you can basically cheat your way through a lot of the shrines as well by just doing random things. Skittles, I need health. Is there a health generator anywhere? Well, I found another save point. I think you should put the health generators in the save points. I know it's not like that in Metroid 2. I, I was just doing that to fast travel back here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. You saw nothing. Down right. Yeah, I think, I think that was the intention as well. Yes, thank you. I needed that. Yeah, they're definitely going to do something new. They always do that with their trailers, though. Like, the trailer for Mario Odyssey, the first two of them didn't actually show off the new mechanic. I'm sure they did the same with 3D World as well, just make it look like a generic game and then introduce new things the more they show of it. Oh, God, I thought it was going to fall down the, the, sh the lift. Then. Right. Are we in a new area? I think we are. All the lights have come on. I'm finding loads of these random boxes, but I don't think there's anything there. They don't have ray tracing if you want to play it on a on Yuzu on the PC with your 4090. And hacks. Oh, apparently I've already been here. Ah, uh, you need to put the map in the game. Don't save the map till after the credits. Yeah, you can't afford a 4090 on your on your 1p ad revenue from Spotify. I can't believe that when you showed that screenshot. I, I was only joking, saying that you couldn't afford a 199 table or something. If Stephen was here, he'd get you to buy it for him. Not, not, oh yeah, not even 1p. But do, have you got revenue from other places like Bandcamp and stuff though? The map's unlocked by speaking to Ash... Ashjet after getting the water in. Ooh, okay. I trust you. Hey, there's something down there. Another power shot upgrade! Yeah! Let's see what it's like now. Whoa, cool! Pew, pew, pew. Now we can open purple doors. Nice. What's going on here? It's not a trick, is it? It's not a trap. Oh, we got ice. Cool. And uh, scary looking ceiling. Should we go up it? Sure, why not? We just saved. Let's try this new gun. Where are you? Where? No! Good job, I just saved. 
cat jam. What is cat jam? Is it a game jam where cats make games? I'll get Taito to make something. Wait, Taito make lots of games. Like bubble bubble every bubble. Which is coming out soon. I might be getting a press kit for that, maybe. Strictly limited seem to send me random things every now and then. <laughs> Cat jam? I don't see anything. But I am looking at it on OBS, so maybe that's why. Anything else in this room? I feel like I cheated there. I got him stuck in the corner. Yeah, that's everything. I don't know anything about Twitch. I'm a YouTube guy. What's FFZ? You guys will have to educate me on the ways of Twitch. This room was supposed to have a centipede in that would burst out of the rock, but I could not. Oh, that's sad. Too difficult? No, you can find a way. Put it in revision C. Franco faces. I have no, I have no idea what that is. I just sound like some foolish parent. How do you do, fellow kids, and your Franco faces? I too enjoy the Franco face. <laughs> How come he gets his own emotes? <laughs> yeah, back in my day it was called Ustream, and we didn't have any fancy custom emotes. <laughs> I really thought there was going to be something hidden up there. Uh, Overclock the Game Boy with liquid nitrogen. Wow. I want to see someone try that now. Where's the retro future? He would do it. Oh really? One of these ones? Come on then. Let's see if this new gun takes me faster. Easy. 16 left. We might even finish this tonight. I'm presuming that was one of the rooms I couldn't get to before because I didn't have the high jump. I should tell him to make a, a liquid nitrogen called Game Boy Color. I'm not sure how that would go down. Hey, first time chat! Uh, let's see what his, what your username is. Evac Creators Ale Chem, sorry. <laughs> I've butchered that so bad. But hey, thanks for stopping by. Where am I going? I butcher everyone's names, don't worry. Ooh, then I'll get the map. Let's keep going this way then. Let me try again. Evac creators... Evac creatives... Alay... Uh, Alay... <laughs> I feel like I'm learning Japanese. Evac, cre Evac creatives. I can say that just about. Whoa, what's going on here? We've got heavy gravity. Are we underwater? Yeah. Am I going the right way? Oh, they don't hurt me. I thought that was going to hurt me. Does that one? No. We're safe. Ooh, we've got some interesting music. Every time I see a little indent like that, I always think there's going to be a secret path to the side. Lurking around and came across your stream, maybe I can help you with your stream's custom graphics. I think I'm pretty happy with my graphics. My girlfriend made them for me. What do you think could be improved for them? 
Oh, that's hurting me. I think butchering butchering people's usernames is just part of my part of my brand, you know. It'd be wrong if I didn't. I can't get up there. Skittles, why have you made this so difficult? I shouldn't shout Skittles, my dog's gonna think I'm calling him. I should call you Star Lab. Star Lab, why have you made it so difficult? Yeah, if you're just here to advertise, then kindly leave us alone. It's almost as bad as on Reddit whenever you post something and you get flooded with DMs from people trying to sell you things. Am I supposed to be able to get that now? I'm guessing I need to come back when I can swim or something. No, I'm not interested. Yeah, go bother someone else. Damn, I butchered their username for nothing and they're not even real. That's sad. Try not to die. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> I'll try not to. I can't go that way. I need the morph ball. Yeah, she's getting loads of... Loads of random OnlyFans accounts. Just keep reporting them and they just keep coming back up. I have no idea why. I can go that way? But I can't crouch. How, would, how do I go that way? Was there another passage I didn't see? Oh! Really? Wait. You have to press A? That's weird. If that's how it works, it would make more sense to have a little icon pop up or something. Because people might just give up there thinking that they can't crouch. Pressing A is a bit unintuitive. Or just have it so you just walk into it. There's supposed to be an A prompt. Oh. Maybe it's because I'm using an emulator. But I'm glad you thought of that anyway. Yeah, or why not why not have it so you press down? I guess because it only happens in that one spot. Unless you wanted to try and implement crouching everywhere. Because if it was something that doesn't happen permanently throughout the rest of the game, then people probably wouldn't attempt to do it anyway. Mighty number nine fell for that trap. Where there's a specific down dash compared to the regular dash that you have to use in one specific location in the game and never never need to use that anywhere else and it doesn't tell you about it. Hey, there we go. And now I'm stuck here. Oh! Wait, you can use them ones as a platform but the big ones hurt you. I feel cheated. I can go back and get the life from the other ones now then. Mighty number no. 9 had potential. And they squandered it. And I spent £200 on the Kickstarter and didn't even get all the stuff I was promised. I'm still waiting for them 3DS and Vita ports. They're still coming, apparently. You know what? You know what's really funny about Mighty number no. 9? I'll show you. It's gone! You used to be able to type it in on Amazon and it would come up with a pre-order link for the 3DS game. Oh, it is still there! Currently unavailable. There it is, like, Mighty Number no. 9 for the 3DS. 
and what's even weirder about Mighty Number no. Nine for the 3DS? Let me show you this. Oh, they don't have it anymore. It used to be on CEX's website. And they even had prices for it. It's 80% off on Steam. You can buy it, like, brand new on the PS4 for, like, two quid or something. It's true, truly an awful game. It's not there anymore. Never mind. I don't understand how they went so wrong. It could have been good. No. What's going on here? I missed the chance to get that power up then. Whoa! Being attacked by Cyclops, Cyclops fish. Am I supposed to be able to swim or something by this point? Because I can't get to him anymore. Okay, that's a reassuring noise. Watering! Yay! That's it, I've got all the main power-ups. Oh, okay, it just, it just restores the controls back to normal underwater. That works too. Whoa, that fish goes crazy. Yay! 15 left. There was something else on this side, but I think it's in the room next to it. How do I get to it? Is there a secret gap in the ceiling or something? No. Yeah, I can go and get that life power up now. What's that? It looks like, um... It looks like the fire power up from Bomberman wearing a sleeping cap. More life! Yay! Getting stronger. I don't think I can get out this way, though. No, can't go high enough. Oh, okay. I need to jump across there. Back we go. Oh, cool. They're, they're kind of like fossils then. Hey, something just popped out there. Did you see that? There was something there in that silhouette of the rock. That's cool. Tell us more Easter eggs. What else is in the game that we can find? More life. I need to remember not to switch it off every time I go into that screen. Yay, a save station. Did you think about having the ability to teleport from save rooms? Like Castlevania style. That could have been good. Especially later on if you just want to zip around and beat all the bosses. Ooh, we've got some more Zelda-ish music. I want to go back and get that other life power-up that I missed before. Because I thought those jellyfish were going to hurt me. You can stand on them one, that ones, yeah. Oh, it's right there! Yay, there we go. Does it show you how much life you've got on this screen? There might be something cool to add, like a little life meter in the corner to show how much... or how much extra you've picked up. Ah!
Hey, we're back out here again. Hey, Skittles, did I miss anything? I know I can go back to where the water is now. All these areas were separate planets. You would travel from one to the other until the mother mothership near the engine room where the interface would allow you to use the save points from previous planets as warps. Oh, that's a cool idea. How come you decided to group them all together on one planet in the end? Oh, that's why that bit looked like it was part of the story. Interesting. It's interesting to hear how things change over time. You don't know why you changed it. Fair enough. Things happen. You just get new ideas. I feel like I need to go up there. Yes, I was right. We found somewhere new. Oh, you've made me want to play um, Axiom Verge 2 now. I've had it for ages. But I've never got around to playing it. Is that all that's in here? I mean, I'm not complaining. I like having energy. Yeah, nothing else in here. What other games has everyone been playing recently? There used to be enemies 29 and 30 here. They've been replaced with jellyfish. Oh. Let's remove them from memory. Is there anything else to find this way? Yeah, it'd be really cool if, you know, once, you, once you've been to college and you've learned programming, maybe you could make, like, a modern version of this. Make it in Steam or Unity or something. Not Steam. Release it on Steam, is what I meant to say. Yeah, we can go this way now. Ah, oh, Beam NG. I want to. I want to. I want to get that. It looks really good. I just finished playing Raft with with Sarah. We we played it all the way to the end. And tomorrow, Dead Space remakes coming out. Yay! So we'll be playing that this weekend. And I want to start Xenoblade 3 at some point, but I have no idea when I'm going to be able to do that. I've got Crisis Core as well. I got it for Christmas, but I haven't found time to play that yet either. I tried playing it when I was ill at the start of the year, but I just didn't feel like doing anything. Right. Pretty sure I've found everything. You can play Klonoa too, that won't take long. Anything else that way? This is just where the power-up was, wasn't it? Yeah. There is a life thing on the other side though, I want to know how to get to that. How do I get there, Skittles? I think I've been everywhere here. Try going back this way. Yeah, I think I'm going to make Axiom Verge 2 the next game I play. It's been on my list for a long time. And Finding Paradise as well. But I think that's coming out on the Switch. Alright, is it down here? Activate the frost system before leaving. Okay. Ooh, we're going down. Am I going the right way? I'm going to get Sarah to help me play and record the Nintendo TV game thing. I'm not sure how she feels about that though. Okay, I'm going back. But yeah, we should we should play something together on stream. That'd be fun. She just started playing Pokey MMO, the online Pokemon game that's based on Emerald, I think. But you can play with people all over the world at the same time. Which is pretty cool. Hey, I found it! Crisis Core's okay, combat's fun, but it's nowhere near close to the quality of the original FF7. How does it compare to the PSP game, though? Is it a good upgrade? 
I played a bit of the PSP one back in the day, but I never finished it. But I enjoyed the idea of it. I just thought uh, Kingdom Hearts 358 was a better game in that style. Where you've kind of got the hub world and you're doing missions and come back to advance the story. But maybe I'll give it a go on the PS5 now I've got it. Am I going the right way now? You haven't played the PSP game, but it's an upgrade in every way. Sounds good. I should do a video on PSP games. I've got quite a lot, but I've never really talked about them. It's a really interesting system, actually. Ooh, what's going on there? Was that a hell free store thing? Yeah, live walkthrough. I don't know where to go now. You're not supposed to be able to go behind this one. You should hide something in there. We've gone the wrong way. Whoa, what's going on? I've been sucked into a pipe and spat out the other end. I presume that was meant to happen. I'll trust the game. I'm trusting the game. I'm just letting the game take me where it wants to. And I'm just along for the ride. What's that? There's a little three-headed... What's that enemy in Mario called? Pokey? A miniature Pokey. Dun -dun -dun. Ah! Die, die, die! I've got loads of health now! I can take you out! The game pushes you not to get the map, but it's there if you go out your way. Well... I'm gonna push the game back the way I want to go to get the map. Except I don't know where that is. I'll find it. At least I can jump through all these bits now. Now that I have that water ring. Oh, did I pick up something to make me immune to the lava? Is that how come I can walk through there now? Yay! Now, you say go find her, but... I have no idea where I need to go. I feel like I missed something else down here. Whee! I want that. I want that! Let me go that way! There it is. Dun, 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 dun. The frost system. You should have called it the Verost system. As a homage. Nothing down there. She's at the cabin or around the cabin, depending on what enemy you killed. That's cool that it changes where she is based on what you've done in the game. That's a nice attention to detail. Whoa, what's that? Oh, I didn't want to go down there straight away. Okay. I'm here. Can we get me? I remember when you sent me one of the first demos of this game. And you hadn't even programmed this enemy yet, it was just sort of floating there.
Yes! I was really worried then. I thought he'd got me instead. Oh, we've only got 12 left. I'm getting upset that I'm coming to the end of this game. It's so good. Nothing else down here. We're making progress. Anything up the lava waterfall? I don't want to go stray too far off the path. Oh, that's back where it spat me out before. Cool. Oh no, I didn't see that. That'd be that would have been fun to see on stream. Right. Anything else around here? I don't think there was anything else there on the left. Let's just make sure I haven't missed anything. No? Well, looks like I'm taking the long way around. Or I'm going the wrong way completely. And you can't do wall jumps. Oh yeah, that's where I got that pickup from. Nothing else here. I just like to be thorough in my Metroidvanias. I still can't get over how you've managed to perfect these physics in, in GB Studio. Every other game that I play in the engine is just so slippery and it feels horrible, but... Whatever you've done, you've you've made it work, which is really impressive. Genuinely, really impressive. All right, let's go this way. Oh yeah, definitely worth the effort. All right, are we going back? How do we get out? There. So you're saying I need to go back to Tretton. Tretton? 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 How do I pronounce that? Am I going the right way? I like using them to, to boost me up. I feel like there's loads of places I can go to now that I've got that water ring. Trayton. Trayton. I have to butcher something now that that bot's gone. Up here. Defend a lift. <coughs> Long left. Originally Triton. Cool. What's the meaning behind the name Irulia for this section? I love playing games with the developers on. I can ask them questions. It sounded cool. Fair enough. I, I know I've... I've missed that. I'm just wondering if there's anything else I can get to now that I've got my power-ups. There was somewhere I couldn't get to where there was water. There was a power-up behind it. I can't remember where it was, though. I don't want to get too lost. No. Okay. I'm not going to get distracted. I'll come back when I've got the map. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you were upset that Mercury Steam stole your area name. <laughs> Terrible. Did you play Dread? What did you think of it? For the most part, I loved it, although I felt like it could have done with a few more distinct areas. Everything felt very samey, which I guess was to be expected with the uh, with the environment and the story. But yeah, the game itself is absolutely fantastic. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I thought you might. It was so much better than the 3DS one. Yeah, I kind of want to play Dread again, to be honest. What? No memorable music in Dread? I guess it's just not as catchy as earlier Metroid games. It's not bad. And I love all the crazy stuff you can do with the Shine Spark in that game as well. Yeah, I need to play Samus Returns again. I I was kind of put off because of all the melee combat. But after playing Dread, I really got used to the melee combat and started to quite enjoy it. So maybe I should go back. Yeah. Metroid Dread's music is atmospheric. More than memorable, I'd say. But that's not a bad thing. And it definitely worked well with the game. Right, is there anything up here? I don't think I've been this way. I don't think I could get up there before. I know I'm going the wrong way. I just hadn't been there before. <coughs> um. Yeah, where, where is the elevator that I need to take after this? Hey, life. Is it back in the area on the on the right, or do I need to go left from the spaceship? Ooh, where are we now? I love the use of colour that you've done with this as well. Like, all the different areas really stand out. And the fact that it changes over time as well is really cool. Where am I going? I love this feeling of exploration without really knowing where it's going to take you. I can't go anywhere! No! Don't tell me that's a glitch and it's one pixel too low. Ah, no! Plus intended. Good. Whoa, what's going on here? In a warehouse or something? Oh, I've locked myself out from going back down there. Going around in circles. There's another one. I'll try using the gun. Is the gun actually stronger or is it just faster? It still seems to take more hits with the gun than it does with the sword. But yay, we found a new one. Right at the end of that really long path, so it was worth going there. Stronger, but still not as strong. Okay, that makes sense. Like you said, the sword's probably the best one to be the strongest, because it's kind of risk and reward, isn't it? You know another game that does that really well? The original Rocket Knight Adventures. If you get right up close to the enemy and you hit them with the spark at the end of the sword... Hey, the A button's popped up here. That's what wasn't showing up before. Hey, there's another one. He's just standing there waiting for me. <gasps> Ooh, cool. I didn't expect that. 
Where's he gone? This is like dead space where the thing drags you away. Oh, it's this guy again. Okay, I know your tricks. I know that you couldn't be programmed to fire your projectiles at me. Nothing on this side this time. Boo. Nine more? We're nearly there. Yeah, I definitely... Um, I was saying in the last stream there was a game that this reminds me of. I definitely recommend you check out Momodora if you want. A game that's kind of similar to this with really nice pixel art graphics and Metroidvania gameplay. Oh my god, that's not fair. And there was a sequel as well, which I've got on my wish list, but I haven't played it yet, called Min Miniora, something like that. Looks really nice too. And they were actually working on a Game Boy D make as well. Right. Was there anything else over there? I think I've gone through everywhere and come back myself. Let's just check. Oh yeah, that's... Oh, that's cool. That's, that's the entrance that I found last time. Nice. Uh, something here I like to call the Pit of Despair. One of the first ideas for a room I had in the game where a big enemy goes over the holes. Concept from a scrapped area. Oh cool, it was a nice idea. I feel like there's something else on the bit above. Or is the bit above where I came from before? Uh, let's find out. Hmm? Don't think I've been here before. Is it a save room? Yeah, it's a save room. That's cool. I'll take a save room. Nothing else up there? No. Shooting randomly, shooting randomly, everything that's not in my way. Going back to where I was. Right. I think we're back now. Let's go and use the spaceship to heal. Now, how do I get to... I can't remember what it was called now. Trito. Tritora. Triorus. Uh, is it on the chat anyway? No, it's gone. Triton. Triton. That's it. I can't remember if you said which way I have to go. Go right, and in the vertical room, go up. Okay, let's do it. Where's the vertical room? Not this one. Did you consider trying to put a dash into the game? Or did you feel it wasn't really necessary? Ah! Uh, I think I've already done this room, right? Yeah, because I remember saying that they look like grapple hook points. 
But maybe I couldn't get through here last time? Hello? Let's see what's over here. Oh, a save room. The game can be beat in under an hour if you know what you're doing. Well, it can be beaten in under an hour by the developer, because you know everything. I don't know how long I've played it for. I've played it for... Um, how long? I played it for an hour and a half yesterday, and I've played it for an hour and 45 today. Oh, you did, you did try dashing then. Frame rate really takes a hit with the snow on the screen. Right. Where was that lady's house? There was nothing there. I thought those platforms were going to take us somewhere. They might still do. They took me nowhere. The platforms are a lie. Hey! They did take me somewhere! Yay, they took me to a life jar. Cool. And I still have my high jump on. I'm sorry, I doubted you platforms. I think I remember this place being on the left. So I hope I'm going the right way. Why do those cute cats want to try and attack me? Whoa, the frame rate increase when the snow stops. Oh yeah, we can get through here now. Oh. I don't think I'm going the right way to get the map, but I found somewhere new. Energy, okay. I'll take it. Okay, we've already beaten him. So it was just a shortcut, it didn't actually take me from my loop. The opposite side. Is that the right side to be? Or the wrong side? Hey, there's a... There's a power up down there. I've gone too far! <laughs> Let me back up! Oh no! No. There's no chance of going back over there now. In the middle. How do I know where the middle is? It's easy for you. You can have it all laid out in GB Studio. Whoa. That's a busy looking room. What is this middle? This is where I kept dying because I kept running out of energy after using the save point. Oh, that's weird. The door didn't work straight away. Nothing in there anyway. I love this music, it's so jolly. Oh yeah, I forgot I can just run straight underneath them. Ah, oh, dead end. I bet you're enjoying watching me get lost. I knew I should have invested in some graph paper. I bet you someone's going to draw out the map as I play in this. I'm just trying everywhere to see if there's somewhere I couldn't get to before. 
Oh. No, I won't go right. And you can't stop me. Because I have the controller. No backseat gaming. No, wait, please do. <laughs> Found another save room. I'm technically going up, just not up the way you wanted me to go. Whoa, okay. I managed to dodge him somehow. I thought I was going to get hit then. You're grounded. How? I never leave my house anyway. You have to unground me and lock me in the garden or something. Slow down! Call it Matrix mode. Am I going the right way? Or have I already been here? Oh! No, I have not been here! There's gotta be another enemy for me to fight around here somewhere. I'm ready! I knew it! Oh! Something's going wrong there. Oh, it's this one again. Let's see if I can kill him even though he's all glitched up. Okay, that's that's still okay. Ah. Uh, yay. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. I wonder if I come out of the room and go back in, it'll be fixed. No, there's something wrong with this room. But it's okay, it didn't break the game or anything. I wonder if it's to do with that loading bug. No, still broken. There you go. Make a note. But it wasn't game breaking, so I'll, I'll let you off. I'm glad I got lost then, I managed to find another boss. Uh, the tunnel swap using the same positions as the other location of the enemy. Oh, so it was still remembering how, it's, how it was supposed to look in the last fight. Okay. Where do I need to go? I I feel like I'm going around in circles now for real this time. Fall down the cliff. Down here? We're back here again. Wrong cliff! No! No, I need to go all the way back up. You said fall down cliff? I say cliff? I fall. Simple. I was only following your instructions. Next stream, go up. I feel like you should come with every copy of the game and people can phone you up to ask for help. Like the Nintendo hotline, but a personalised one. Am I going the right way now? Yay! There she is. The last place you should go is the flight deck of this world. However, it's guarded by an enormous monster. The only way to unlock the door to there is by neutralizing all threats that are present on the ship. Yes, I know that. 
Oh, and I created a map of the ship to help you out. Please take it. Thank you. And if you don't mind, I would like to come with you back to your world. Sure. Oh, that's the same as before. So, let's see how we get to this map. Does it show you where you are? Okay, it kind of helps, but it doesn't point out your location. Or is that Lotcheru? Is that you? No, it didn't move. Oh, okay. So... The enemies that are showing on here, are these ones I've got left to do? Or are these ones that I've already killed? Or are they just every enemy in that location? Yeah, it looks like it's just all of them. Ah, it's not as helpful as I thought. Hey, the snowman's still blushing. Is there anything new in the house? Right, let's see where this house is on the map. Oh, cool. Wow, that really puts it into perspective how big this is. Okay, and you can see the lifts to the different areas too. I feel a bit overwhelmed but now though, I can basically go anywhere, and I don't have any idea where the last eight are. I'm guessing there's some hidden here somewhere. West, I can kill an enemy and get two life jars. Let's try it. Down here, maybe? Wait, I need to go east to go west? Are you trolling me? You just want to watch me get confused. Jump down the cliff! No, not that cliff! Go west! Not really, go east. In Revision C there's a new platform. Sure. It just happens to be missing from my version of the game. Okay. I've gone east. When do I need to start going west?
Ow. Through here? Or is this just another save point? Yep. Uh, a room with a large pit in the middle. Oh, it wasn't up there, was it? I'm back to the place with the snowman again. That's where I was before. Is it up there? Do I have to go over that jump? <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, I can't even go back that way. Damn it. Where's the screw attack? I can see why I missed that before then. You only get one chance. Oh, is that where the platform is to help you get back up there? Good. Because people might do that once and not remember it. I don't think I'm going the right way. That's going back to the house, isn't it? Is it? Oh, that's okay. You're, you're helping me out. How's everyone else doing? Are you enjoying what you're seeing of the game? Apart from me getting completely lost. Am I missing something? I don't seem to be able to go anywhere. I need to go down more first. Oh yeah, for my next stream after this one, I'm thinking about starting my quintet games. So I'll be, um, I'll probably be streaming Actraiser next to start that series off. So that will be exciting. played Act Racer before. I'm tempted to try the new one as well because I didn't play much of the remake. It looks pretty good. Uh, is this the jump? I'm scared! Yay! Okay, progress. I think, if I made the right jump. Ah, you haven't played it. Cool. It's a very unique game. I don't trust that. Right. Was I meant to go down there or not? I'm scared of having to go through all that again.
that is the right way. Okay. It looked the same as the as the cliff that you told me I shouldn't have gone down before. But I don't remember jumping up like that, so yeah, it's different. Okay, I'm trusting you. Here we go. Oh, okay. I had been there before. I haven't been this way before, though. And I'm probably going to die. Have you seen how much health I've got? Oh my god, I thought that torch was an enemy then. That scared me. Oh my god, I keep banging my head. There we go. Whee! Go down! You send me to these places and you tell me I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I found a lift. So, where am I if I've gone all the way to a lift? Am I over there where it says Lochiru? Okay, I'm going back. Must be going the right way now. I can see something. Yay! More health. Come on, let's find another boss. I'm hoping I can finish the game tonight. Have I gone the wrong way? I don't know, don't tell me I've got locked in. Oh, I can jump through. Yeah, I've already done all this. Go right after the health tank. Do I go the wrong way again? How is anyone meant to know where to go? <laughs> okay, tell me about the secret health tank. the secrets. In there? That looks like a secret spot. The entrance is hidden in a wall. Okay. They look like hidden entrances. Ah, here. I found it. Maybe. This is a long area for just a lot of the secret. Wow. Okay, I've got loads of health now. 
I'll probably need it. I'm really worried about what the final boss is going to be like. Ow! Oh, I had even more health. Cool. I've seen the final boss, I think, if it's the one that you shared on Twitter, anyway. It's really hard. I'm glad you're here, because I would have had no idea that I needed to go back down there again now. Right, how do I loop back round to where I was? Yeah, I remember that bit. Oh, down there. Okay. Left or right? Oh, right there. Okay. Hello. Ah, I got stuck. I got stuck. Yay, seven left. That one was kind of hard to find. Right. Any more in this area? Or shall I go to where I found that... Where I found that elevator? One in the central area and one in the engine room. Okay. Let's get out of here. First time chat. Hello, more Moxie seventy nine. Yeah, I got your name right first time. There's a first time for everything. I think, unless you have a very specific way of pronouncing it. Right. Hello! Yay, thank you. I do work very hard on it, so it's nice to know that people enjoy it. What kind of videos do you like the most out of what I make? Because I'm never really sure what people enjoy. I do like a, a range of different things. And I can't tell if people enjoy watching all of them or if people just sort of come and go for different topics. So... Am I going the right way? I just need to get back up now, don't I? Probably gone the long way around. Okay, we found a lift. DS stuff, cool. I've got a bunch of DS games that I want to try and find this year, so I should be doing more DS videos soon. Okay, so I have now entered Lochiru from Triton, so I'm down there on the left. So if I go left and check those two rooms and then go up and right, I'll get to the engine room. That's because this is a brand new game made by Skittles Fiddles, who is in the chat with us. And I've just been checking it out on stream and really enjoying what I've played so far.
So if I go down, there might be a heart container. Have I already got all the hearts from here as well? Oh yeah, I've done this area. That's what... That's this bit. Okay. Oh no! Well, I went down there anyway. So we can go right instead. Irulean core or engine room. Which one do I need to go to next? Engine room? Yeah. Oh, you can stand on top of the giant ones. Hey, I know what would be a good idea, skills, for future future revisions. What about what about if on the map you like put a little tick next to the ones that you've that you've finished, that you've hundred percented? That'd be a cool way of knowing without giving too much away. Just so people don't end up backtracking to the same areas again. So. Oh, that was easy. I was expecting a lift, but we're just we're just instantly straight back in here. And there is something underneath here. Oh, cool! Yeah, I can get that now. Now I can jump in water. Woo! More life. So, let's see. Now we're in the engine room, and we came from. Over there on the left. There's one at the top, and there's a bunch. There's a bunch to the right. And there was one on the left from where we just came in as well. I'm guessing I've already taken care of him. I don't think I can get there from this side. Oh, the battery's gone on this camera now. Well, that might be a good chance to swap back to my new camera, because the uh, the battery should be fully charged in that one. I forgot I was running on battery power. Right, bear with me. I can swap back to the new camera. I'll get a plug for it soon. We won't need to worry about this. I, be I became an empty square. That's what this game has done to me. Right, just need to re swap the HDMI cables around and I will be back. Yeah, I got sent to the Shadow Realm. And now, fingers crossed. I'm back in the real world. Yay, I'm back. Okay, let's see how long this one lasts. It's on 100%, so this will be a good test. It's a little bit... The, this camera's heavier, so the, uh, the stand I've got on is sort of weighing it down a bit. Yeah, I'm well, going full screen. Look how nice it looks. And now I've got this zoom lens as well, so... I can go that close if I wanted to. But yeah, nice. You can see how messy my room is too.
seriously needs sorting out. Yeah. I've been looking on Amazon. I'm going to get a desk stand for it so I can just sort of move it around and get the best position. So I want it kind of like that so you can see the retro brake bit in the top as well. But yeah, that was my old camera. Still a really nice camera. The A6400. A but it was time for an upgrade. It wasn't very good for taking with me. I want to start filming events and stuff this year. So to have a good camera to be able to go out and about with will be cool. Oh, thank you. Once I've tidied everything up, I'll probably do another room tour. Now that everything's kind of set up, or at least more so than it was before. Right, ah, there he is. I remember you. Can I attack him from behind the wall? Oh, it did work. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if that was hurting him. That's one more down, six to go. I was thinking of maybe doing a video about how I have everything plugged in um, to like record all my videos and stuff as well. So let me know if that'd be something you'd be interested in seeing on the main channel as well. Like how, I, how I've got my camera equipment set up and like microphone and lights and stuff. I know it's not really gaming related, so I don't really know whether it would go very well on the main channel. But it was something I thought people might be interested in, because I've put a lot of thought into it. Is there more Melty Boys? I know there's more Melty Boys somewhere. There! It's a spider boy. Spider Man's son, Spider Boy. Hey! I thought I'd already got that. Ah! Where's the Melty Boys? There's almost too many games for the Game Boy these days, I can't keep up with them. Oh yeah, it's usually better to fight these ones with the, uh, with the sword, isn't it? Yay! Five more. I thought I'd already killed him. Apparently I didn't save. So, let's have a look on the map again in the engine room. So that was the one on the far left. We also killed the Melty Boy in that tunnel at the bottom. But there is also um, a little bit further up. Is that through one of those secret exits on the roof? Maybe in the other room. In here. I know there was a secret somewhere. But I found it by accident. Uh, let's keep going up. Maybe it just meant to go up here. Ooh. That's new. Whoa. Hello. Watch out, the headset's on the end, on the end of the room. Oh, the bin fell over. You okay? Can I be cheeky or not? Oh no. Come on, come off soon. What time is it? Oh, it's only. Not even ten. I'll play for another hour. Later. I don't want him then. Okay, come here. Can you see him on camera? Let's go on full cam. Skittles! Hey Skittles, say hi to the real Skittles. Come here. Uh, hello. What are you eating? He's on camera. 
He made a Game Boy game. Right. Five more. Do you think I can do that in an hour? Or should I come back tomorrow and play the rest of it? The real Skittles! He's here, eating paper. Okay, we can do it. We can do it, we can finish it tonight. If these cactus people don't kill me first. Oh, I've gone too far. So, let's check the map. That was the surface. So we need to head up some more. Ow, I went right into him then. Where's the screw attack? Where's the shine spark? Oh, I get a drink and these peanuts. Almonds? I didn't even know we had any. Thank you. No. Two enemies in this area, one at the top. Then the second from the bottom. Okay. Let's do it. You're not loud then. You got your carrot. You got your carrot. Okay. Where were we? Two up here. Oh my god, come on! Okay, one down. Does he have a friend? Oh, there's two in this area. Okay. That's that one done. Four more! We're nearly there. So, let's consult the map. That was one at the top. And we just need to go all the way down and then go right. And we should find one more. I'm almost done! There's four left. Have you enjoyed watching me play it? I've definitely enjoyed playing it. You'll get a glowing review on my channel when the physical comes out. Until then, I did give you a little preview on my next video. Glad you enjoyed it. And it'll be uploaded so you can watch it back whenever you want to remember what you made in the future. <laughs> thank you for liking it. No, thank you for making a good game. Seriously, this has sort of rejuvenated my interest in Game Boy Homebrew. Like I said a bit earlier on, I was feeling a bit burnt out and You'll, you'll see in my video on Friday that a lot of the new games that are coming out just aren't very good. So, to actually play something that's that's an actual decent game is quite refreshing. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Damn it! I take it all back, this game's terrible. You didn't tell me I was going the wrong way. I've already been here. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully this inspires people. But it also makes me wonder 
if people are being a bit lazy. I don't, I don't know if that's rude to say, but... You'll see on Friday, but a lot of the releases that I've got recently feel very rushed, very sloppy. Very kind of... Um, I don't know, they almost feel like an afterthought. Or just like... Hey, there's this engine that can do stuff. Let's just do something and sell it because we know people will buy it, regardless of the quality. So, to play something that you can tell someone has put a lot of effort into actually making it a good game is is really good. So, thank you. There we go. Three more. Right. Oh, back here again. I don't want to be here again. I don't think there's anything else here, so there might be a health regenerator thing. No. So I have low heads in here, cool. After you mentioned him last time, I, I had a look on Twitter and checked out some of his stuff. It does look really impressive. Hey, hello. I didn't clock the username when you when you um, spoke earlier, sorry. But yeah, great work. You and Skittles keeping the Game Boy homebrew scene alive. You saved the doors. Even something simple like the doors is is impressive for GB Studio. Hey, the um, the A symbol's coming back. It wasn't there earlier. Right. So these last three, are they in a different area? Have I cleared this room out? I think I've killed everything. Yeah. I think I have. No more melty people gonna come and get me there. No. Head to Mushroom Land. Am I going? I'm probably going the wrong way, aren't I? Let's see if I can figure out where I am. So, up and right. We can get to there from Central. This way. Yeah, whatever, Spider Beast. I'll just play through him. What's the uh, what's the thought behind the cactus enemies? They're pretty random. They're just dancing. Whee! Let's recharge. So I need to go right, down, Go right down to the bottom right. Oh. Okay. So they're cactuses that have been repurposed as ghosts. Got it. <clears throat> We're back inside. Are there any other secret health power-ups along the way? Oh, I can't go that way. Gotta go the long way round. Ooh. There's two secret health power-ups. In this area? I 
don't know if I've got time to find them if I want to finish it tonight. Oh, in where I'm going now. Cool. Uh, should I use that save? Maybe, just in case. Okay, cool. I'll, t I'll pick them up then. Is this the right place? Irulia and Central Irulia are the same thing, right? Yeah, it is a really nice looking game. You did a great job with the graphics. And the colour scheme is really nice too. Right, I should probably look at the map, let's see. So, Irulian Core, if I go that way. But I've got to actually find them, the enemies in this area, right? I think I'm going the wrong way, but there might be health. Don't go to the core. Those two hearts on that top area, are they are they hidden somewhere or are they ones I've already got? I keep thinking that's something where the tiles split there. Okay, I've got that one. That's the one at the top. So that's the one there. There should be one on the left over here as well. I've probably already got it, haven't I? There. Far left beneath the monster, okay. I've already done this monster, that was the first one in the game, right? Or one of the first ones. Yeah. Where I stood on that ledge and kept slashing at him. Okay, there's a heart over here. Hey, I haven't been able to go over here before. Hey! Uh, next heart is on the right? To the right of this room. In here? Oh, I need to get the sword again. Ah, it's another one of those water places that I couldn't get past. I always thought I'd have to stand on them enemies. Yay! Okay. Whoa, look how long my health bar is now. Do I keep heading right or down? Let's see, where am I? Oh my god, I can't make sense of that. Uh, I feel like I should have gone down. Head left and fall down the little pit. Mm. 
Nope, not that left. It's a shame you can't go down there. That would help me get back. down one of these. Right. Oh, okay, I found one. I thought I was going the wrong way again. Two more to go. Oh, that was a bit of a scary, scary platform. Go left? What? Left back where I just came from? Okay. Uh, this is just the ROM. The game doesn't have a cartridge just yet. Although it will do soon. And when it does, I'll do a proper review of it. Am I still going the right way? Or down, down the pit. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I could get up there last time. Ah, uh, hopefully I was meant to get in there. Oh, we can still get back up. Oh, this sounds new. Sounds scary. Per se. Okay, what's going on? I don't know what just happened. It feels like one of those Bowser's castles in Mario where if you take the wrong path and it beeps, you go back to the start. It's cool to see a new tile set this late on in the game. Creepy, like almost monster looking figures in the walls. This is very elaborate for a health tank. Okay, that's a point. This is extremely elaborate to get a health tank. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Not just a health tank. Whoa. Oh my god. Am I hurting it? Oh, I've got to shoot its arms. Okay. Oh my god, you've got the projectiles working on these ones. Ah! I can't turn around. Okay, that's one arm gone. Ah! Uh... Oh my god, they won't leave me alone! Ah! Uh... Damn. Cool fight though. Okay, let's try again. Maybe if I use the sword on the arms? Yes, that works a lot better. Okay. Uh... Okay, 
Okay, I'm just gonna keep hitting him. I don't think I can get them away from me. Uh, go away! Have we done it? Yeah, we did it! Your weapon has been stolen? <gasps> no! Oh my god, no way! Got a proper Metroid style countdown to finish. Oh my god, you've. Seriously, you've knocked it out of the park for this game. I'm I'm honestly speechless. This is insane for GB Studio. Uh, I don't know if I'm going the right way. Oh my god, I'm getting scared. Come on, we can do it. Oh no, we've got some challenging platforming sections. Ah! Most elaborate health tank. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, how far away is it? Oh my god, my hands are sweating. Ah! Don't tell me I need to get all the way back to the spaceship, please. Uh... Oh my god, two seconds! <gasps> oh my god! That was so close. Wow. Where's my health tank? Ah. Oh. Nice. Okay. Don't you want to talk to me? Can't recharge my health either. Okay, I just don't have my weapons. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Are you watching? Ten out of ten ending sequence. I love the I love the um, sprite work in the background too. Oh, where did it go? No, my lovely passed on coloured sky. Okay. Most elaborate health tank ever. What the hell is going on? I've like entered a palace or something. Oh my god. Please don't be a maze. This isn't a booze haunted mansion style thing, is it? Oh no. I'm guessing this place hasn't got a map. Oh, I haven't even got a start button. Okay. Just keep pressing on. Yeah, the moon came back. I 
start. Okay. I found a bed. I'm not entirely sure what's going on story-wise. Uh, okay. I went to sleep. Was that a save point? Okay, I got my sword back. Okay, I got everything back. Cool. Did I get my gun as well? Yay! Can I go back and save? I feel like we're nearing the end now. I was half expecting... Yeah, I'm guessing that's a save point. I was half expecting it to be like a Meta Knight style thing where you'd pick the sword up and then it would come to life and attack me. Whoa. Okay, it's like a Dark Link situation then. Thank you for ending our brothers and sisters. They were in great pain. Eleven children. Ashta not only wanted to preserve the life from his planet, but to restore the human species before it was corrupted by radiation from the world's own star. Lime, parsley, mint, sage, poppy, clove, rosemary, ginger, berry, acorn, and pepper. We were his children before our bodies began to degrade. As I speak, I feel my mind slipping away from me. I will become a monster, just like the others. But you won't. It seems you're the lucky one. Or maybe not. I am sorry you had to kill us. It wasn't your fault. Ashta altered your memory so you would... Once you awaken from this farce, we will be gone. Now, to this point, you have been asleep in Ashta's lab. Your whole consciousness was sent back in time before Ashta found the new world. He sent you there for one reason, to end the suffering he caused for his own creations. Our pain was one of his greatest regrets. Oh no, Rosemary, listen. When the others changed, their mind was the first thing to be completely lost. My... Mind! Whoa, okay. That's a pretty pretty interesting story. So I'm related to all the monsters that I killed? This probably isn't the uh, fastest way to kill this, but... Oh, maybe it's the only way. The sword doesn't seem to be doing anything. I need to play the start of the game again to get that connection there. It's really cool though. Okay, that part's done. You are ready this tough? I'm in control for now. I'll be gone soon enough. Please meet me in the next room. Okay. Is she going to transform? Oh my god. Ah, that hand. Do I need to watch out for that spike that she just came off too? I like the way the blood's coming off, that's cool. you go. The spike's fine. Die! I feel bad for killing them though. I'm scared about the hand coming up from the floor. Okay, part two done. Is that it for this room? Okay, moving on. Right. Can I go back and save? 
or is that cheating? Oh, okay, I'll do a save state. I've probably got about half an hour. Yeah, just in case. Okay, quick save. Oh, right. Okay, well, I made a save state there. Oh, I can't go back to save on the bed. Oh. You've got a lot to update in Revision 2. I love this graphic style. Good job I pressed save instead of load. I would have freaked out if I went back to my previous one. Okay, here it is. Oh my god, how are you supposed to avoid all them? Oh my god, oh my god. Let's see where it starts me from. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to have to do that every time. Right, quick load. I'll do a save just before the room. I'm guessing there is a pattern. Oh, I just realised my health isn't full either. Is there no way of getting my health to go back to max? Quick save. Okay. Okay, gotta hit the heart, right. Ah! Right, what is it? F... F2 to load. F4. Oh, F4. Okay. I'll figure it out. Do I need to attack the mouth to get the heart to show up? No. Okay, so I just need to dodge them, wait for the heart to show up. That one, jump up. That one you can kind of... Okay. Oh my god, I don't know how to dodge that one. Oh, no! Oh my god, I don't know how to do this. Oh, I can't get my health back up either. No! How is this entertaining for you? This is horrible. Ugh. I don't know. I can't see the pattern. Stay in the corner? No. Uh, 
uh, you think I can go in there with the sword instead? Okay. If I do a high jump like that, that seems to be avoiding a bit better. Oh, damn it. Oh my god. I am not doing the final boss. The final boss is doing me. Ah, uh, oh, that's not fair. It is. It is the final boss. I just can't do it. Jumping was safe. Can't even jump. Go in for the attack, but before it disappears, run back so you don't get hit. Okay. How are you supposed to get in there without getting hit? Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of there without getting hit. Maybe just do one or two hits and come out straight away. Let's see if I can come back with more health. I might try going through this again just to see if I can get there with more health. Alright, it does mean I'll have to fight both of these again. Try not let that hand grab me so much this time. It'll give me a few extra hits. Okay, easy. I don't want to do save states in the fight, That's that feels like too much cheating. Let's see if I can get through this bit with some more life anyway. Oh, god damn it, not a good start. Oh god, I'm scared to stand on the floor. 
you go. The hand disappears. Okay. Well, I think I've got more health anyway. Okay. I'm feeling better about it. Let's go. We can do this. Make sure I press the right one. F2, isn't it? To save. Yes. I'll do it that way as well, just in case. Quick save. All right, let's go. I know it might be slower, but I feel like it's safer to use the gun. Ah! Oh my god, it takes off so much health! I like it. Keep doing that one. Yes, keep doing that. Ah, no! I don't like that one. Okay, we did better. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Stop it! <laughs> That's it. How do these attacks work? Are they just completely uh, random? Ah. How do you avoid that one where she just spits in every direction? I feel like there's nowhere you can stand or jump to, to escape that one. Is there? Move slightly left on the ground and it will go over you. About here? Oh, okay. I'll try standing there, see whether I can get past that one. No. No, oh, I still can't see how to avoid that one yet. How about here? Yeah, splat on my head. I'm going in, I'm going in! Ah. I don't feel safe going in, with, in there with a knife. Oh, maybe do a really high jump and move to the left in the air. Oh, 
I feel sorry for anyone who's going to play this on original hardware. No save dates. Oh no! Damn. I got in there, I couldn't get out though. Pro tip. I don't need a pro tip. I'm a pro. Ah! Okay, pro tip. You take less damage if you don't jump. Why didn't you tell me that sooner? I did it! thing came through the wall. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, I got the wrong attack on. Ah! Oh my god, please stop. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I'm trying my hardest, I really am. A serious time. I should have another camera on my thumb for when I'm hammering the attack button. If I jump slightly faster when that annoying pattern comes up. Ah, but if I jump too soon, then sometimes it goes up instead. Come on. It's coming back. Ah. Okay, we'll get... We can do it. A new tactic.
It's gonna do it. It's gonna work. Here it is. Uh... Great. I tried. Okay. I've got ten more minutes. I can do it. Come on. Ah! No, I hate that move. Oh, this is too stressful. What else am I doing wrong? Yeah, this difficulty spike is insane. None of the other bosses were anything like this. This is going to be impossible on the original Game Boy if you have to go back and do those other two fights first. I've got 10 more minutes and I'm going to give up. I could have set up save and load buttons, I guess. Oh, for God's sake, I can't even do the first one anymore. Oh. Three times. My finger is the turbo button. was doing well then. Ah, oh, still hit me. You have to be really close to a head when you're doing that one. God! Why do they fire backwards when you're under there? That's so unfair. Oh, and that stupid thing coming across the floor. I don't think there's any way of dodging that thing that's coming across the floor, is there, if you're under there? Oh, 
Ah, close. I suppose that's what you get for using the sword instead of the instead of the gun. Ah, uh, damn it! Come on, I must be, I must be getting close. Please tell me there's not a second part. Is that it? Is that it? We did it with five minutes to spare. Yay. Oh my god. That fight. My god, you need to turn the difficulty down on that. That's insane. Skittles, you're a madman. <laughs> what were you thinking? Ah. Oh. I feel relieved now. Oh my god. <laughs> well done though. Well done. It's not that hard. Sure. For you who made it. Yay, I can officially say I beat it without... Well, I was kind of cheating, using save states. So, what's your plan with um, Revision C at that point, then? Are you going to get it so you can save after the first two fights? Oh, I'm so happy I managed to finish that. I was going to be really upset if I had to end this stream and not do the final boss. I was about to say, is this is this you boosting your ego and having your name in front of everything like uh, Hideo Kojima does? But no! Oh yeah, it is. It is a bit. Yeah, I think there should be a save point before the final boss. Add more enemies, yep. That's, that's probably a good idea. Temporary save after the first two, fix a couple of bosses. And yeah, give give them a way to heal before that final boss as well. Else, you might save afterwards and be stuck if you didn't go back and heal before fighting the first two. So yeah, maybe have like something to prepare for the fight. Especially if you're on an actual Game Boy and you can't use save states. There you go. That's my answer to who made the sound. Yeah, what, what an achievement though for a Game Boy Studio game. And I'm frustrated for you that the um, GB Studio blog isn't going to write about it, because it really deserves to be seen by more people. So, hopefully my video can help in that sense. I'll do my best. Yeah, I mean, the final boss, once you did understand everything about it, it was doable, but... it Yeah, I feel like it does need tweaking a little bit, because people might give up. Especially considering how different it is to the other bosses in the game. How, like, how much of a crazy shift in, in difficulty it is. You guys both just need to shake each other's hands and put the past in the past. I know you tried. Yeah, maybe we make the projectiles weaker. Slightly. The patterns were good and they were all dodgeable, so it's not like it was impossible.
repugnant bounty. Not repugnant bounty, like I always kept calling it. There you go. Two. I missed four things! What? How did you let me miss things? What did I miss? Two hours, thirty-two. Is that a good time? I guess I did get a bit of help. Ninety-six percent. Can't believe that. Yep, Nick the Name Butcher. Now reset. Just reset the emulator? Is there going to be something new at the title screen? I'm going to... I'm going to do a save right at the end, just in case. Okay. How do I reset? I don't know where I saved it. Uh, Repugnant Bounty Revision B. Open. Why is it opened on the same test? What's going on? Yeah, I didn't tell it to open in SGB mode. Yeah, for some reason it's set to Super Game Boy. Alright, let's try again. Okay. Is everything back to normal on the stream? <laughs> really? Well, I'm glad we got to see the actual ending. Dun 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 Is that it? Do I need to reset again? I'm going crazy. It's time for bed. I've reset again. That's it. We're done. Thank you so much for making that and showing people what's actually possible in GB Studio. And yeah, maybe I'll go back 100% it when we get the physical release. So that's me done. I'm off to bed. Thank you everyone who watched all the way to the end of this. Thank you so much to Skittles for making such a fantastic game. And I will sing its praises. Easily the best homebrew game that I've played. Congratulations. You've done it. And yes, good night, everyone. Thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.